It is estimated that we forget 50% of new information within one hour. Within 24 hours, we have forgotten an average 70% of that information. And within one week, it is estimated on average we would forget 90% of that new information. So, what actually happens to our brain when we learn? While well, changes take place in the brain, neurons which carry information by chemical and electrical signaling form pathways. The new formation is called neuroplasticity. This type of neuroplasticity is called structural plasticity. It is when the brain changes its physical structure as a result of learning. For example, if you were to take up a sport such as basketball, the more you practice, the stronger the electrical signaling in the brain region for that pathway. Eventually, you'll be able to carry out free throws without even thinking about it. This is known as muscle memory. It is when the pathway in that brain region becomes so well connected through constant repetition that it becomes like second nature. The end of one nerve terminal and the start of another is called synapses. During our infancy, we have a huge number of synapses. As we grow older, the number decreases with time. The average adult only has half the number of synapses. This is because as we learn and gain new experiences, we strengthen certain neural pathways and eliminate others. This process is known as synaptic pruning. The hippocampus has a major role in learning and memory. The hippocampus helps humans process and retrieve two types of memories, declarative and spatial. Declarative memories are those related to facts and events. Spatial memories involve pathways or routes. A study looked at London trainee taxi drivers and assessed whether they could memorise the layer of a six mile radius in central London. This included 25,000 streets and popular places. This study would show if the hippocampal structure is hardwired or able to adapt and change. The research followed 79 trainees in which only 39 of the group had passed the test. The ones that had passed the test had shown to have a greater volume of grey matter in the posterior hippocampus when compared to before they had started their training. The findings show that the human brain remains malleable and has the ability to adapt and change even in adult life. Researchers have found that children who reported playing video games for 3 or more hours a day were faster and more accurate on cognitive tasks than those who never played. Functional MRI imaging analysis found that children that played video games showed higher brain activity in frontal brain regions as well as areas associated with attention and memory. Researchers think that these patterns may stem from practicing tasks related to impulse control and memory while playing video games that are cognitively demanding and these changes may lead to improved performance on other related tasks. Although it is easier to learn and gain new skills at a younger age, life never stops teaching. So take every opportunity to learn and grow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.